All right, here we go. All right, uh, this is recorded really for you guys on, on uh, online. However, this is information that the rest of the class needs to know as well. So I'm speaking to the class as I'm recording for you guys. Um, so number one, you can just leave, the, no, uh, number one. Um, so I wanna talk about contacts. I want to talk about how you uh, reach out to me to ask questions and everything else. Um, I, I noticed that you guys have such respect for me that I, apparently I know exactly who you are, what class you're from. Uh, even if I only have six classes, which averages about 30 students per class, which is about 180 students. Uh, so chances are I do not know which class you're coming from. All right, there's uh, very few students that I actually know exactly which class they're coming from because they've been with me for uh, two or three semesters. All right, so um, that's a whole different story. All right, so if you're contacting me through Canvas, no big deal because in Canvas, it tells me exactly which class you're coming from. So I know exactly how to reply to your question. This weekend, I, I, I kind of screwed up because I asked if they were in college algebra, they heard algebra, but they didn't hear the college part. So I was trying to help them on college algebra when they are in intermediate algebra. So very two very different lab works, still lab work one, but two very different lab works. So clearly I was answering a question that they had no idea what I was answering that you guys have not yet got the lesson for, okay? So if you're emailing me or texting me, at least with text, just at least provide to me once. My name is Jimmy Chan. I'm from your 1033-21F or 1033-12PM class. Okay, good. With text messages, I will always go back up to the top and go, ah, this is John Doe, I mean, Jimmy Chan, and he's from my 12 o'clock class. Awesome. Now I know how to answer this question. Okay. If it's email, every single time you do it, you should put on a subject line. Hey, Jimmy Chan, 10.33, 12 p.m., all right? Uh, if you wanna put down Monday, Wednesday, even better, but since this semester, Monday, Wednesday is the only time that I have 10.33, I know exactly which class you're coming from. But in future, probably a good idea just to get a habit of it. And I'm sure that your other professors would do the same thing. Now, what do I have to do when you do that to me and you don't tell me where you're from? I have to try to go to one class roster. Nope, that's not it. Go to another class roster. Nope, that's not it. Go to another class roster. Nope, that's not. I have six classes, so that means six class rosters in order to find you, all right? Especially if it's on the very last one. So please, uh, tell me who you are. Tell me which class you're coming from online, 12 p.m. class, whatever, okay? So that I can help you appropriately. Lab work. So the question was, when am I gonna grade them? I'm not going to grade lab work one. Here's the reason why. Okay, I didn't want to put it out on front because then you guys, most of you guys won't even do it. I'm not going to grade lab work one. Why? Here's the reason. Because I have students that registered probably on Thursday or Friday or even today that won't get a chance to even attempt lab work one. Right? So I'm not going to grade it because I want lab work one and lab work two for you to work out the kinks. The reason why I have this Word document here the way it looks is because one of our fellow students had taken pictures, pictures of their work and then paste them on a Word document like so and sent this as a PDF to me. This is not acceptable. I will not grade it. If it looks like junk, I will not grade it. It will be automatically zero, it's done. Good news is lab work is only 10% of your grade. My last plus is also 10% of your grade. Combined is 20% of your grade. All right, it's your choice. But the part that they decided to do was, hey, let's go ahead and change this to landscape view so that I can fit more onto the page. 
And it wasn't even put nicely like this. They was just scattered all over the page. So if that person was you, I'm not trying to embarrass you. Nobody knows who you are. I don't even remember. I just remember clicking on and go, whoa, that's what I'm getting. And the other ones I'm getting as a PDF is something like this picture right here. Like I see half your living room, your, you know, your coffee table, uh, your hand is holding the notepad as you're trying to scan it. I hope that you do have a flat surface at home. And if you don't, we have the floor. That is also a flat surface, okay? Sometimes it is hard to get the lighting correct. I understand that. Do the best you can. That's all I can ask for in terms of that, okay? If you're willing to, to work, I'm willing to help as much as I can as well, okay? So that's number one. Well, that's number two, actually, because that was lab work. So what do I want you to do with your lab work? And this is probably a good time for me to address the OneDrive aspect as well. Um, what do I want you to do with your lab work? This is what I want you to do with your lab work. I want you to go in to week two. And if you go into week two, I'll bring this up on the screen here since that's what I'm recording. And I'll get to your course here. Week two, well, I'll get into their course here so they can see it. Week two, notice I move it to the top as a current week. If you click on it, right here will say answer key to lab work one. This is what you should be submitting. Now, it's not, it doesn't have to be this, this, this way, right? This one I did on the iPad with notability. Now, if some of you guys have an iPad and you wanna do something like this, you are welcome to do that. I wouldn't suggest no ability because it costs money, right? OneNote does not. So you're welcome to do this with OneNote if this is what you want to do. Nice part is that you can just, you know, pull graphs right from the lab work straight to it as well, right? And as I was doing this, I also recorded this. I'm sure that half the class have seen it. And half the class goes, there's an answer key? I'm sure that's the same half the class that has not yet even clicked on week two yet. Even if I said, hey, we should look at the notes ahead of time. But that being said, you have the answer key. So what I would tell you to do is take this PDF, compare it to your lab work and say, what did I do right? What did I do wrong, right? And then you can always <clears throat> go into the video and get to that point and say, okay, number eight, I did wrong. Let's." Clearly, that's towards the end of the video. So I'm going to you know, move everything to the end of the video and see where he did number eight. And I'm going to listen to his explanations as I'm going. All right. So in terms of work, this is what you should be showing. This should be some of the work that you're showing. Now, you don't have to explain anything necessarily, but you should show some of the work that is there. Right there, it was one question was like, for example, two and three, there really wasn't a lot of work to be shown. I understand that. Okay, even though if it looks like I, I showed a bunch of work, but at least I did. Well, you guys don't have to do the red and the blue and uh, different colors either, but at least so when I only had one color, when I was, you know, showing stuff on the whiteboard, I would typically use like lines as one thing and then scribbles lines as another. Right, so it's something to think about there. All right, you don't have to do color. I'm not expecting that, uh, not at all. Okay, so the lab work one answer key is there. So I want you to compare everything. The lab work is important to me. I think lab work are important. Why? Because lab work and review will prepare you for the exam. So for me. If I was a student and that was told to me by my professor, I would focus a lot on lab work, okay? But if it's not important to you, I understand. The review is going to be really optional. But if I was to tell you to ask my past students, they would tell you, dude, or do that, do your review. Put a lot of time into that. But again, it's optional. You don't have to hand it in. So for exam one, Lab work one, two, three, and four will definitely help you on the exam. All right. Is that you? No, it's the camera, I think. 
All right, so I'm gonna talk about, OneDrive really quick. So I'm gonna join the meeting with my phone. I'm gonna stop sharing here and cancel. Do not use audio. You can, I can mute the video and I can share my screen. Start broadcasting and you guys just now see my screen. There we go. All right. So let's go into OneDrive. Oh, I just scanned this one. All right, so this is OneDrive. All right, so I obviously I have a lot of scans in here. As you guys can see, a lot of it was just demo, de uh, demonstrating all of this stuff, okay? So on the very bottom, you guys see a um, camera in a circle, okay? If you click on that, it will have a camera. Look, camera. All right. So the below that white button, you see document, whiteboard, business card, and photo. This is if you want to take photos onto one document and send it. However, I believe that's going to leave you with a JPEG and it's going to just take pictures of everything. Okay. So I would tell you to go back to document. Okay. And all you got to do is. I'm coming to this document here. So I'm taking a picture of this document, even though it's, there's a blue box. Everybody see the blue box? I hit the white button. And if you guys notice, there is a um, white border all the way around it. You can adjust those borders if you guys want to, uh, but if it's already enclosed it, awesome, it's done. And notice how it's in an angle right now. So if I hit confirm, look at what happens. It strains everything out for me. Right? Okay. So if you guys look on the bottom left, it says add. Jeez Louise. So if I hit add, it will say, okay. So if you notice the blue circle now with the arrow, there is a, I guess, I guess it's called a, a badge. The badge says one, that means you have scanned one document. Okay. So let's say, for example, I want to scan this document here. This one here, okay? So I got the blue box around it and notice how much of an angle I'm putting on this. I hit it, boom, okay? I can move if I want to these, um, these, uh, this white border, but I don't have to, confirm. Obviously I don't see the preview, but notice that the badge now went to two because I have two documents in there. <clears throat> and you're like, well, how do I add the third? Great question. So I will add a third. So I'm going to hit the blue button and it's going to show me my two pieces of paper here. So again, bottom left says what? Add. So I'm going to hit add. I'm going to come over here. And typically this works better if you have a darker background uh, with your white piece of paper. Okay. So now this one, I was like, ooh, I better adjust the left side here a little bit, all right? Now, if you click the corner, what you're gonna notice that a magnifying glass comes up to show you, okay? So I hit confirm, done, boom, okay? So I get to, let me go look at the three of them. Yeah, I got it. All right, so here's another one. I can recrop this if I want to. That is what crop is. That means I can go, okay, let me, Shift this in a little bit. That looks better. Confirm. Done. All right. So that's shifted in. Ooh, look at this one. It's sideways. So I can hit more on the bottom and I can rotate. Awesome. Done. All right. So now this is all looking upside up. So I'm going to hit done. And when I hit done, it's going to say, hey, name it. So I'm going to come over here and say, Chan is awesome and then i'm going to hit check <clears throat> so now this is now loaded into my files with OneDrive, and let's see if i can find chan is awesome hey there's chan is awesome okay so from here one of two things you can do this is saved under my school's uh fsw's um 
OneDrive. Okay, so you could go into your, onto your desktop and log into Canvas, go to Office 365, and it'll show you um, the OneDrive uh, icon. You can click on it and you'll see all your files there as well. Okay, obviously you're gonna have to log in here as well so that you know that story there. Worst case scenario, here's what you can do as well. When you have this, <clears throat> If you hit the kebab, which is those three three little dots there on the top right, if you hit the kebab, there's a way to share. You can share it, and then you send a link to yourself. Okay, you can email it to yourself, and once you email it to yourself, you have a PDF that you can now download to your computer, then upload it to Canvas. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So that's now. All the other scanning apps does exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. The only difference is that instead of that plus sign for adding, is a choice of hitting batch versus single. If you hit single, you take a picture, it will now go to the next page and say, name it. Or you can hit batch and you can take the pictures of the next sheet, of the next sheet, and the next sheet until you say it's done, okay? So you could take 23 pages and then it'll all stay in one document. So this is one document right here, okay? So uh, I scan a few of them a, a few times. One of them is Jimmy is awesome, okay? So there is your lab work here, all right? So that is also done. I believe I, I thought I sent you guys a video of this actually. In fact, this was the document that I scanned for the video for OneDrive. It was three. It was um, it was a link with three videos, and I think I did it through Canvas that I sent it to you, right? It was say OneDrive, how to scan. I think it was like how to scan and how to submit was the two of them. Okay, so hopefully you guys did see that video, All right? Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing my thing here and leave my phone so that I can share my screen back here again. All right. So what was the next thing I wanted to talk about? All right. So in terms of answering your lab work, you're going to have another lab work that you're going to try to catch up on. Okay. So again, I'm not going to grade it. Chances are I'm just going to, in fact, just move it somewhere else. So you're going to have one more week to try to work out your kinks so that you actually do it right. All right. I don't want junk. All right, so we'll call lab work one and lab work two as your dropped grades. All right, and then everything else is gonna be graded. All right, uh, syllabus quiz. You need to get 100%. So if there was 15 questions, you have to get 14 points because the 15th question is that honor code that I have to check to give you that one last point. So if you didn't get a 14 out of 15 or 11 out of 12 or nine out of 10 or uh, 23 out of 24, then you need to do the syllabus quiz again until you get 100%, okay? Um, I have extended that deadline to this coming Saturday, all right? And for people online, I've extended your proctorial quiz. I, I mean, either have or will extend your proctorial quiz to next week as well. I know that there's been some issues with proctorial. I understand. I, uh, you know, as much as I, I know that some of you guys probably freaked out a little bit, it's okay. I'm probably gonna extend the date. All right. Uh, next, my last plus. My last plus, there should be zero, zero reasons why you're not registered for my last plus. Zero. Because I've gotten some emails today going, well, I was going to go to the bookstore today to buy it, but they ran out. They're back ordered. I'm like, okay, you pay later. Whoa. Wow. Really? We could do that? Yes. So every one of you guys should be registered. If you don't have the access code yet, it's okay. Go through. Let me go back here. Go back, go back, go back to home. Go back to week one. You have a register button right here. When you click register, it gives you the step on how to register. When you register and you log back, when you log into My Last Plus, 
there is going to give you access code buy now or pay later click on pay later you get a two week free trial you got two weeks to purchase that access code okay so click pay later so that you can actually do your homework all right the other thing about my last plus and lab work in terms of due dates I got a lot of messages that says, hey, I, I missed the, my last plus homework and I missed the lab work. I don't know why I left it to the last minute. You always do. Can you extend it? And the answer will always be no. Now, one of the things I said to you guys on day one was that I'm not just here to teach you math. I'm also teaching you life. If you're at a job and you're, you've been assigned to get a certain project done by a certain date and your boss probably knows that you can get it done by that certain date. Will you be going to the boss and saying, uh, can I have an extension? Sure you can. Next project is not going to you, nor is the next one, nor is the next one. Let's pick, take, take back all the rest of your jobs and give it to someone else because clearly you can't deal with it. And when that happens, what happens? You're out of the job. I mean, just think about the, even for us, right? My, my new house should be supposed to be done by January. They just let me know it's not gonna be done until March. How upset do you think I got? The mattress for my parents was, was supposed to be delivered this past Saturday. They can't deliver it because it's back ordered. How do you think I feel? The golf cart that I ordered, supposed to be already here, still not here yet. How do you think I feel? I'm sure that all of you guys have those certain situations that happen in your life and you get upset about it. but yet you don't look yourself in the mirror and keep yourself accountable. It's okay for you to get upset with someone else but not upset with yourself. It's okay for you to ask for your money back but it's not okay for you to ask yourself for your money back. Next thing. At the end of the semester in the fall and the spring now, you get to fill out an SOS, a student opinion survey. You will get one also. You will say you love or you hate this course. It's all good. I read the comments. I'm good with those because those are only gonna help me grow. But one of the fall semesters, back in the day it was only done only in the fall. One of the fall semesters, one of, the lo one of my lovely uh, female students said that I play favorites. And I started thinking about that. They're like, you know, it's those ones, you know, on the right side and in the front, he plays favorites. So I thought about it and I said, you know what? She is absolutely right. I do play favorites. I'm gonna give you guys what you need to do to be part of my favorites. Now notice that she didn't say favorite, favorites, plural. So this is how all of you guys can be part of my favorites. This is exactly what you would want in your employee when you are the boss. Get to class on time. Get your homework done. Ask questions when you need it. Try, attempt, don't just give up. That's all you need. You'll be part of my favorites. So every single one of you guys, all 160 of my students are welcome to be part of my favorites. Okay? So yes, I do play favorites. When you are down, you're, when you are always pitying yourself, when you don't get anything done, you're always late to class, you don't ever ask questions and say, oh, change just the worst. You've never asked me a question ever in your life. 
Why am I playing favorites to you? Okay. Um, but the, but the, and again, if you need help, ask for help. I had a question asked this weekend for help on exactly what you just asked. OneDrive, it wasn't him, but it was about OneDrive. And they're like, I am so sorry. It's, 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 been, it's been like four hours that I've been trying to figure out OneDrive. Everything's scanned in, but I don't know how to get it from my phone to my computer to get it uploaded. I've been struggling with getting OneDrive on my computer. I'm like, I got you, zoom me. We zoomed in. Well, she zoomed in. So we talked about it. We got through it. Right? Hey, try this. Hey, try this. Hey, try this. Hey, try this. Hey, how about this? Here, can you see this button? Can you see this button? Click on it. Now send it to me. Let me see if I can see it. I can see it. Awesome. Let me now send it to you. All right, upload it. Right? That took about an hour. No problem. Someone else messaged me right before I did the lab work answer key. Now, my lab work answer key is done outdoors, so you might hear some wind going through. Uh, I, had, uh, I had my uh, AirPods in, so you might hear some wind. You might see it here. I don't know how noise canceling works, so noise canceling, I know that it, you know, the outside noise doesn't bug my ear, but I don't know if it, it um, helps with recording or not, okay? And if you guys know more than I do, please feel free to educate me. I would love it, all right? Um, but someone was on... Zoom with me for two hours for two problems. I don't have a problem. I'd rather you ask for help than you not asking for help. Then you asking for extension. Okay. Now I gave you guys that YouTube link to my playlist. All right. So you can always go Ahead, you can always stay, you know, go go backwards as well to refresh yourself. There might be some stuff in 057 that might help you, which is a remedial algebra. You just gotta look at, hey, what am I doing? Let me find that title here and click on it. I might have some college algebra students that might need to go back into their in intermediate algebra notes. I'm sure that you guys don't remember those lectures. But now you can get those lectures again, okay? So those are the things I wanna throw out there for you guys, all right? So hopefully this helps and you guys can say, Phew, cool, lab work one isn't gonna be graded. So I, 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 I you know, squeeze by one, but the problem is that you don't, you wanna have one more left to kind of try to squeeze by. After that, I'm grading, right? Lab work one and two is your drop. So after that, there's no more drops. Now, some of you guys are gonna ask me, um, so is there any like a uh, bonus, like extra credit stuff I can do to raise my grade? Well, the same as answer as your due dates. No, homie doesn't do extra credit. You know why? Here's the reason why. When I do extra credit, when I give extra credit, guess what happens? My A students does the extra credit. The ones that don't need the extra credit does the extra credit. The ones that don't need the extra credit doesn't do it until they fail an exam. They're like, uh, so can we do that extra credit that you did like three weeks ago and hand that in and get extra credit? No. That's the reason why I don't do extra credit. Because you guys all become reactive than rather being proactive. So this is how I do extra credit. I know some of you guys had questions about My Life Plus. My Life Plus due dates are the only due dates that I will extend sometimes. Typically, it is during some kind of long weekend or when the school is closed. So for example, next Monday, the 18th, school is closed. So you guys don't have me next Monday. Okay, so next Monday, what I might do is saying, you know what, on Friday, I'm going to extend the all, you know, open all the homework assignments. 
that will be due, uh, you know, due last Saturday and this Saturday, and just extend that till Monday evening at six, or maybe even Tuesday evening at six. I don't know because the next time I see you will be Wednesday. I might do that. Now you can go back and get everything to 100%. And with that being said, though, your next opportunity might not be until spring break. Okay, so that's how I do bonuses and extra credit, which is not really extra credit. It's just giving you a second chance on your My Last Plus homework so that you can get it to 100%. All right, so hopefully that helps you guys. And uh, people online, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Everybody else, I will talk to you guys when I see you guys. Later.